I'm going to be going over the first page of the number sense release 1, 2, 2, and 2A. Starting at number 1, 42 plus 42, that's going to be 42 times 2, which is 84. 204 plus, uh, 284 plus 439. You can take away uh, 16 from the 439 to turn this into 300. And this into um, 423. For a total of 723. Hundred digit of 458,257. You should know that the first uh, digit from the right is the ones digit, then the tens, and then the hundreds. Hundreds in this case will be two. Five plus five times 11. You can solve that by saying that five times 11 is uh, 11 instances of a five added together. And this extra five here is just one more instance of five for a total of 12 instances of five. So five times 12 or 60. 98 divided by seven, nine goes into seven once with a remainder of two, and then 28 divided by seven is four. You also might be able to get to this one in particular a little bit quicker if you remember the factoid that 91 is 13 times 7, which is a multiplication fact many people have memorized because 91 is a tripping point for people who think that 91 is prime. Uh, number 6, the remainder of 78 divided by 5 is blank. For uh, 78 divided by 5, for any division, division by 5, the multiples of 5 end in either 5 or 0. To, to, so to find the largest multiple of 5 less than the number we're dividing by, in this case 78, we look for the largest number less than this number that ends in 5 or 0. In this case, that's 75. So the remainder is going to be the difference between 78 and 75, which is 3. For 34 plus 46 plus 44 plus 37, 34 plus 46, 4 and 6 make uh, 10, so this is going to add up to a multiple of 10. Specifically, it's going to add up to 80. And 44 plus 37, the 4 and the 7 add up to 11, so it's going to end in 1. If we were to look at this as uh, 36 instead of 37, then 44 and 36 would add up to 80, so 44 and 37 are going to add up to 81 for a sum of 161 total. 702 minus uh, 374. First of all, we can think of this as 700 minus 374. 700 minus 374 is going to be something that we can add up to pretty quickly. We go up 6 to get to 380, uh, 26 to get to 400, and 326 to get to 700. And then we just need to go up two more. Um, 326 plus 2 is 328. The product of 17 and 6 is blank. 6 times 10 is 60. 6 times 7 is 42 for a sum of 102. And then here we have an estimation question. 143 plus 572 plus 715. Um, we can estimate this to the nearest um, hundreds, or not hundreds, the nearest multiples are 25. This would go to 150 and would round up. This would also round up to 575. Could also round this one up, but we could also round it down to make it just a little bit easier and a little bit uh, more likely to end up in the estimation range we want, because for our estimation questions, we want to be within 5% of the answer on either side. So then we just add up 150 plus 575 is 725. 725 plus 700 is 1,425. 644 minus 319 minus 215. First of all, we can add the 319 and the 215 and then subtract them both from 644 to be a little bit easier. Um, if we think about 319 is 320, then that would make the sum um, 535. So the sum of this is going to be 534. And then 644 minus 534 is going to be 110. The remainder of 148 divided by 9 is blank. Remember that the sum of the digits of a number that is divisible by 9 is going to sum up to something divisible by 9. Similarly, the sum of any number's digits is going to have the same remainder when divided by 9 as the original number. 
8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 13 when divided by 9 has a remainder of 4. So, so does 148. We can check that because if we subtract 4 from 148, we get 144, and 144 adds up to 9. The digits do. For 83 times 11, the trick with multiplying a two-digit number by 11 is you, uh, you add them together, you add the digits together. The first digit is the ones digit of the um, number that isn't 11. The hundreds digit will be the, the tens digit of the other number, but the middle digit will be the sum of the numbers. In this case, the sum of the two digits in 83 is 11. So the middle digit is going to be one and the hundreds digit is going to be eight plus one or nine for 913. 52 times 15. It's easier to multiply by a multiple of 10 than it is to multiply by a multiple of 5. This is a multiple of 5. This is a multiple of 2. 2 times 5 is 10. So we can take away a multiple of 2 over here, divide 52 by 2 to get 26, and then um, multiply, 150, or multiply 15 by 2 to get 30. 26 times 30, well, 26 times 3 is going to be... Uh, 60 plus 18, 78. So 26 times 30 will be 780. 15 squared, you should have your squares memorized up to 30. If you don't, you should go ahead and uh, get that committed to memory immediately. 15 squared is going to be 225. 34 plus 51 plus 85. First of all, if we add together 34 and 51, we get 85. And then 85 plus 85 is just 85 times 2, which is 170. Um, 1.4 divided by 0 0.07. First of all, let's go ahead and um, move these decimals. As long as we move the decimals the same amount of spaces um, in the same direction on both sides of this expression, the expression remains the same. So we can move it one jump to the side to turn it into 14 divided by 0.7, and then two jumps to the side to turn it into 140 divided by 7, which is 20. Over here, we have uh, 24 times 16. We can turn this into 20 plus 4 times 20 minus 4, which we can um, use our difference of squares theorem, which is going to be 20 squared minus 4 squared. 20 squared is 400. 4 squared is 16. 4 uh, total of 384. Then over here, uh, 201 times 249. Again, that's an estimation question, so we only need to be within 5% uh, either side of the correct answer. So we can estimate 201 to 200 and 249 to 250. This is going to be extremely close to the correct answer. 200 times 250, well, 2 times 25 is 50, and then we have three extra zeros to attach for a total of 50,000. 72 times 25. 25, notably, is 1 fourth of 100, and 72 is divisible by 4. So let's go ahead and divide 72 by 4, and we get um, 18 times 100 instead of 72 times 25. So that's going to be 1,800. The greatest common denominator of 28 and 16 is well, we can see that 16 is just a power of 2, and the highest power of 2 that goes into 28 is 4, because it's 4 times 7, so the greatest common denominator is going to be 4. For 12 times 35 divided by 28, first of all, notice that we can um, divide both 28 and 35 by 7, and both 12 and 28 by 4. So if we divide the 28 by 7 and the 35 by 7, we get 5. And then if we also divide the 28 by 4, the 28 completely goes away, and uh, the 12 becomes a 3. For a uh, final answer of 3 times 5, or 15. The lesser of 6 thirteenths and 5 elevenths is blank. Um, we can solve this by cross-multiplying. If we multiply both sides by 11, then this denominator becomes 66. If we multiply both sides by 13, this, or this numerator becomes 66. If we multiply both sides by 13, this numerator becomes 65. 
65 is less than 66, so 5 elevenths is less than 6 thirteenths. For 21 plus 26 plus 31 plus 36 plus 41, first of all, notice that these pairs can be added up. 21 plus 26 is going to be 47. 31 plus 36 is going to be 67. Similarly, we can add those together to get 114. 114 plus 41 is going to be uh, 155. Twenty-six squared. Again, you should have your squares memorized up to thirty. Twenty-six squared is six hundred and seventy-six. That's three points. If eight pints is equal to one gallon, then six gallons is equal to how many pints? If six gallons is uh, if one gallon is eight pints, then six gallons will be six times that, or forty-eight pints. Two ninths plus seven thirty-six is what fraction? First of all, two ninths can be written as a uh, denominator of 36 if we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 4, which gives us a uh, numerator of 8 for 15 36 which can then be simplified because both 15 and 36 are divisible by 3 for a numerator of 5 and a denominator of 12. 656 divided by 16. 16 is again a power of 2. It's 2 to the power of 4. So we can just cut this in half multiple times. That's a little bit easier. Cutting it in half once we get 328. Then again, we get 150 plus 14 or 164. Then again, we get um, 50 plus 32 or 82. And then once more, we get 41. Then estimate 21 times 35 times 19. First of all, again, since it's an estimation question, we can round things around and make an easier uh, multiplication. 21, we can turn that into a 20. 19, we can also turn into a 20. 20 times 20 is 400. And 400 times 35, well, 4 times 35 is going to be 2 times 70, or 140. And then we just attach two more zeros for 14,000 as our estimate. The area of a rectangle with width 12, 12 and length 8 is what? Well, the area of a rectangle is the width times the length, so the area will be 12 times 8, or 96. 55 squared is the one you're going to have memorized. But because it is a square of um, 5, you can also think of it as um, uh, 11 squared times 5 squared, which is going to be 121 times 25. 121 is 1 more than 120, which is divisible by 4. It's 30 times 4. So 30 times 4 times 25 is 30 times 100, or 3,000. And then we add one more um, instance of 25, and we get 3,025. Thirty percent of eighty is blank. Well, thirty is thirty percent is three tenths. One tenth of eighty is eight. Um, so three tenths is three times eight, or twenty-four. The least prime divisor of eighty-five is blank. Well, it isn't divisible by two. That because it's not even, and it isn't divisible by three because uh, eight plus five is thirteen, which isn't divisible by three, but it is divisible by five. So the least prime divisor of eighty-five is five. Square 441, again, you should have your squares memorized up to 30. So if you do, you should also be able to remember the square root of uh, those perfect squares, in which case you will know that 441 is the square uh, of 21. So 21 is the square root. 75 times 99, first we can find 7, 75 times 100, which is 7,500. And then we can just subtract 75 for a final answer of 7,425. 7, That's going to be 35 plus 4 times 35 minus 4. So 35 squared minus 4 squared 
35 also isn't one of the squares that you'll remember, but you can do a similar trick to what I did up here with 55 squared to find that one. I'm going to shortcut it for right now and tell you it is 1,125 and 1,225 minus 16 is going to be 1,209. The number of multiples of 3 between 5 and 26 is blank. Well, um, the smallest is 6, that's 3 times 2. And the largest is a 24, which is 3 times 8. So there's 2 to 8 or 1 to 7 multiples of 3. Hey, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.